Well, good afternoon. Can I start by welcoming you all here today? Now, I've deliberately chosen to make this speech in an international week because I want to talk about an issue which I think almost everyone involved in football knows is the biggest problem the England team faces going forward. The issue, quite simply, is this. In the future, it's quite possible we won't have enough players qualified to play for England who are playing regularly at the highest level in this country or elsewhere in the world. As a result, it could well mean England's teams are unable to compete seriously on the world stage. One of the interesting things about life is what I call the law of unintended consequences. What none of us at that dinner could have foreseen was that because of the very success of the Premier League, 20 years later we would end up with a league largely owned by foreign owners, managed by foreign managers and played by foreign players. And that, as a result, it could be argued that the England setup has been weakened rather than strengthened by the creation of the Premier League. Saying this, I'm not being xenophobic, but my job is to help ensure that English football, and particularly the, English, the England team, is in a healthy state. So today I want to set the whole of English football two targets. The first is for the England team to at least reach the semi-finals of the Euro Championships in 2020, and the second is for us to win the World Cup in 2022. 